Good morning, everyone. It's the morning after the Oscars, so I figured I'd give you a little bit of a wrap-up because I spent four hours watching that last night instead of doing my homework. Thing number one I want to talk about was all the singing with Hugh Jackman. Personally, I loved it. I thought it was very entertaining. I mean, number one, I love Hugh Jackman. Number two, it made it so I didn't know it was coming next, and I like that. I liked where it was, you would watch the show and you'd be like, oh, who... Who's going to do a cameo now? I mean, God help me when they brought out the High School Musical people, but you know what? I wasn't expecting it, and it made me want to keep watching. Sophia Loren scares me a lot. When they brought her up there, I think she was for Best Actress? Yeah. What they did was, for Best Actor, Actress, and Supporting Actor, Actress, they had five random winners just come up and say something really, really nice about the nominees, which I thought was super sweet. But Sophia Loren looks like a lizard. Next thing was Kate Winslet. Loved the reader. Absolutely fantastic. That woman has been due for an Oscar so many times. She completely robbed. But finally, Vindication. I've loved her since Eternal Sunshine. Well, actually, I loved her in Titanic, too, but Titanic took a while for me to appreciate. I hated it when I was younger. So I was like, everyone likes it, so I, I can't like it. And now I love it. I really, really need to see Slumdog Millionaire. I wanted to see it before it got really popular. No one would go with me, and I don't like going to movies by myself. But now I feel like such a loser, because everyone's seen it except for me. I meant to watch it online, but... The site that I watch movies online was taken down. And now I should address the title of my video, Why Robert Pattinson is Still Single. I think the Oscars showed us last night. Poor thing gets so nervous. I mean, I can't imagine him, like, hanging out with people. He'd just do, like, a, oh, well, I'm, I'm having fun. I don't know. He just seems like he needs to loosen up. I felt bad for him up there. I mean, he's this kid who's got millions of people with that are absolutely in love with him. I mean, hell, I got a picture on my wall, but... I think I'd prefer someone not the Edward character, because the Edward character is a fallacy. I'm a Twilight fan, but only in the sense that, like, I'm also a fan of TMZ and gossip magazines. It's intellectual garbage, but you can't sit around reading all of the classics all of the time. You have you have to have some sort of balance in your life. And Twilight, with all of its stupidity and cheapness, it makes me laugh and it makes me a happy thing. I, I can be stupid with my friends and I've seen the movie like five times. Not because it was so good. It was a horrific movie. <laughs> but I really enjoyed the experience of it because I saw it with a different person each time. I saw it with my mom, like, for friends. Yeah, I've seen it like five times. But you're allowed to have some fun in your life, and Twilight is fun for me. <laughs> but back to Robert Pattinson being single. Every time I go online and look for my Harry Potter news, it says, why is Robert Pattinson still single? Why can't he get a date? He left the bar alone at three in the morning last night. It's just like, get over it. <laughs> Yes, he's a very attractive, very successful guy, but, you know, may maybe he's just not found the right person yet. Maybe he's not looking to settle down right now. Maybe he's really busy, because he's filming, like, five movies. I mean, you don't have to go home from the bar with someone every night to be a happy person. For God's sakes, give the guy a break. He's single because he wants to be. I mean, someone like that could get a date very easily. Although, I must say... My personal favorite story about him being single is the one where it's like, he took his stalker out on a date, and then the stalker was so bored of him, she didn't call him back. One of my friends was talking to me, and she's like, how bad of a date does he have to be to not have a stalker call him back? I don't know, I think on the Oscars, it showed that he's kind of awkward and shy. And maybe the stalker was expecting him to be like Edward, and be a vampire and be creepy. I don't know. Wondering what your thoughts were on the Oscars and why you think Robert Pattinson is still single. I know this is a silly video, but as always, let me know what you think.